Hi everyone, this is Sarhan Gunnar here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, taking a moment about a specified axis. This is different than uh, our typical moment in which we take it about a point. So let me remind you that when you are taking a moment about a point, what you need to do is a cross product moment is as we know whether in two dimensions or three dimensions it's the lever arm times the force which is r cross f so you use cross product to get the moment about a certain point your resultant moment could be directed um, along any direction depending on the situation so it could be vertical it could be inclined this is a bit different uh, let's just look at this example so you want to replace your wheel and this is your iron arm the bolt could only rotate in one direction so if you take the moment about point O using the previous cross product formulation your resultant moment will come out to be for example like this this is not good because in this specific application the moment we need is along a certain axis which we call it as a specified axis which is y axis in this situation uh, because that's the only permitted direction in this sense the concept is the same again it is the cross product r times f but you need to get a projection of this mo on the axis which you want to find moment about or in other words that's the specified axis all right so long story short this would involve taking projection which you would remember uh, a projection which is parallel to a specified axis was dot product so this uh, operation will involve both dot product as well as a cross product cross product is to get this moment mo and dot product would be to get uh, projections on a specified axis so this is mo which is r times f and what we are doing is uh, the projection this is total moment uh, this is a spatial axis it is y coordinate system it's y axis so we know that the unit vector is just one i and then r cross f so you can consider this as an example uh, which is an easy type of example because the specified axis is y axis x y z specified axis is always easy because it is going to be i j k this is a this is b this is the specified axis right and a force is applied let's say something like this this is what we are going to be using the result would be scalar why it's going to be scalar because we are using a dot product you can call this as a triple product from a to b that makes a difference or as we discussed it's the same concept as taking a moment uh, it could be from any point to any point along the force so you have to start from uh, the specified axis so this is start this is really important uh, and this is the end it is easy to convert this into a cartesian coordinate vector because you know the, the the position vector anyways so what you need to do is to multiply this magnitude by the unit vector which is directed along a b you know how to do um cross product it's a determinate expansion now we are adding dot product and i'm going to show you how to do that calculation uh, you are going to be taking the determinant three by three determinant as we discussed previously uh, that is going to give you the magnitude all right so that's enough talking let's get into work let's do one example
The question is determine the moment about segment AB of the pipe assembly. You should understand the language. Uh, what it is asking is a uh, moment about AB. In three-dimensional problems, uh, one of the important tasks is to find an easy R, minimum component. So you don't want a fully populated R with I, J, K components. If you can get away with only single component, that's going to make things uh, significantly easier. You are going to be seeing that the easiest one would be this R. It has to start from the specified axis and it needs to go and uh, touch the force at any point. Touch it at the beginning because the only coordinate I know is the beginning. If you go and uh, touch it at any other point, you, you are definitely going to be doing a lot more calculations. So really, you don't have any option here. Uh, it's the only option. With this one, I'm only going to get a Z component. RBC would be 4K right so it's this is really uh the easiest solution this is the strategy this is the thinking you need to do and then you can dive into crunching numbers the rest is just routine crunch numbers do the determinant and the problem would be finished easily all right so before i start uh, i would always like to determine coordinates i don't want to make uh, any mistakes if you go with a b you are going to have three i plus four j magnitude of this rab square root of three square four square and, and you know it's three four five this is five meter uab is going to be rab divided by its magnitude 0.6 i plus all right so this is uab so i got this uab the next is the easy position vector from b to c it's just going to be 4k an easy position vector all right so we are ready i'm just going to do this in a determinant this is going to be the answer mab this is going to be the magnitude of it um, again if you remember what i have written previously in this determinant components of unit vector x y z position vector and then f so components of the unit vector is 0 0.6 0 0.8 zero right so it is done and then components of r which is going to really it's not only easy to find it it will also make your determinant super easy to expand and then the force given to us we don't have any option to simplify it Uh, what does this minus mean? Minus means that moment vector is actually from B to A. B did everything from A to B. The result came out as negative. This is like uh, assuming support reactions, right? You assume a direction, and if you find it to be negative, it's in the opposite direction. So here, uh, what we are given is AB, but uh, the, the moment vector is really from B to A. Are we done? Almost. In order to get the real moment vector, what we need to do is magnitude times UAB, right? So magnitude 8A and then 0.6I plus 0.8J. That is going to be minus 0.8I minus 70.4J. And the result is Newton meter. So that's magnitude. This is, this is the vector representation. My uh, drawing is not to scale. It should come out like this. All right, that's pretty much it. That's how to complete this question. Thank you very much for your attention.